Meyer is one of these lucky people that they figured, well, he's kind of a simple type. We'll show him everything. Well, these are the benevolent aliens, and they've been here helping us. But I think a similar kind of thing is, uh, let's look at the case of the Swiss, who, let's see. Of the man in Switzerland who was contacted by extraterrestrials and made. No, he means he showed him contact your известный, that is a Swiss человек. His name Meyer. Meyer. Yeah, Meyer. Meyer. Swiss guy. I saw the pictures the day after. Investigative team went to Switzerland. Я видел картинки, которые были сделаны нашей группой исследователей после того, как это явление было зафиксировано. I know the investigative team very well. Я очень хорошо знаю людей, которые входили в эту группу исследователей. They came to my home. Они приходили ко мне домой. Show me all their pictures. Показали мне все эти картинки, которые они получили. Very fine photos. Yes, very fine. Very fine. They were absolutely authentic. Эти фотографии были абсолютно аутентичными. And yet the whole world has tried their best to make them out to be fake. Examine the photograph with microdensitometer. Also, these you're seeing here are the black and white color separations that he did, and let's see what the results were here. Hmm. Examination of these plots did not reveal any details which would cast doubt upon the authenticity of the photograph. Have you found any anomalies yet of any kind? Anything I find that? strange things, but nothing that would tell me that someone's tampered with the pictures. I see. Nothing in indicating a hoax method or indicating superimposition or anything like that? Nothing that I can find. I would say these pictures are genuine. This is one of the... Because of the unusual nature of the findings, the fragments are given to chemist Marcel Vogel, an expert in crystalline structures and inventor of many substances used in computer components. We look at it here, this same area here, under polarized light, what is unusual of this small specimen is both highly crystalline nature and suddenly we come to a metal section as we see here and it showed a combination of metals that I've not encountered in any normal bit of metallurgy, both crystalline deposits and metal. Do you ride your moped? Yes. Do you receive your mail at Schmidt early? Yes. Did you fake the photographs taken at Ober Sadleg with a model suspended? No. Wait till the answer, or wait till the question is finished. Suspended by a string. No. Have you taken the photographs of spaceships, spacecraft? His answer was yes. He's being extremely forceful though not deceptive. Mm -hmm. And my opinion on that particular question is that he's being as truthful as possible. We had three evenly spaced frequencies. See it there again? Yeah, you got them again. Yeah. They're not uh, synthesizers on the market that have oscillators that change that randomly. Mm -hmm. Even if you got nine or ten of them going, they wouldn't change from those peaks that quickly. And also, another interesting point to note here is we have a steady, there seems to be a steady pattern all throughout all of this random mm -hmm. signal. I had some artists uh, do some work here showing a spacecraft leaving our solar system and going out of space and time. This red line represents the division between space and time and hyperspace. And the spacecraft, uh, based on the propulsion concept I proposed, uh, would use a field resonance effect to effectively jump into hyperspace, disappearing from space and time in our solar system, and then reappearing at a, at a distant star. It was back in 1984 that I learned about a document that came out of this case called the Talmud of Emmanuel that purports to be the true teachings of Jesus, except his name was Emmanuel then, uh, until Paul 
got it converted to Jesus through Paul's own desires to call him uh, uh, Yahshua. Well, after many years research, I've just found hundreds of reasons, hundreds of them, that indicate the Talmud of Emmanuel was the source of the Gospel of Matthew, the, in the New Testament Gospel of Matthew, and that it was no uh, hoax based upon the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, the scholars have many reasons why they can't look into this document. This is the path where Billy walked from the main gate to here, and this is where I saw Billy, Maya, and Asket from the Dal universe came and walked here, and both of them slowly walked on this path towards the Ashoka Youth Hostel where he was living at that time. I think one time I saw them in front of the youth hostel and they were looking behind something. Mm -hmm. Do you remember in some occasion you were you saw something and both of you yeah. looked the right mm -hmm. I don't remember because I saw it from afar. Mm -hmm. I don't know what occasion. But that was why I took a close or at least staring at her because I I kind of knew her. I have seen a lot of ships uh, over the uh, temple or over the um, uh, we have a large area over the trees near the well on the dog house all these areas that I have seen the ship sometime it was very low I saw quite a few like this you know in yeah. the summer when it gets hot we yeah. sleep with the remember charpai yeah the, the the bed the string bed yes, yes. outside mm -hmm. and looking up always sometimes uh -huh. I see yeah yeah uh -huh. in the summer mm -hmm. oh, this one that's uh, the same time at, at, uh, as this one here uh -huh. it's maybe a, a half a minute different I see uh, you usually find that people that are not telling the truth are evasive. They look away to get their answers and things like that. Mr. Meyer looked me square in the eye and answered every question. It looked right into my soul when he answered the question. He gave me simple answers and very direct answers. He gave them to me in English, and I was convinced that he was telling me what he believed to be the truth. Well, I became <coughs> more convinced that the photographs were real when he took me over all of the photographic sites and I could see that there's no place to suspend lines into the scene. The hill dropped away at a steep ankle. There were no anchor points. There was no way that he could have thrown it into the scene because I saw scenery on the side of each image area that was greater than you could throw a, a, a small model into. Also, it wasn't pushed up from the bottom. And I became convinced that there was no way I could figure out that anybody could get models into the scene.